Hey Medleyanaires, welcome to my channel. This is Mommy Medley. If you are joining me for the first time, thank you so much for joining. Um, if you are enjoying what you're liking, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and click the little bell next to subscribe. That way you'll be notified when new videos come out. Um, I'm coming to you today with a video about what I like to call adventures in homeschooling. That's when I realized I want to make a difference, change other people's lives, give hope even for a moment, use my name for good, and change the game I could. About, about every month I'll do a little, um, a little reflection of how homeschooling is going for me since I have decided to homeschool my 10 year old. And so um, we started last Thursday and it has been a week. However, they only had school Thursday and Friday of that week. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then with our area being under an ice storm, there was no school Friday. So I started off last Thursday with an assessment. And so I wanted to find out exactly where to place him because in school, in public school, he is in the fourth grade. However, he was a little bored. And so I wanted to find out if he needed to be at a higher level, which he did test at an, a high fifth grade level, almost sixth grade. So we decided to start him. I decided to start him at the beginning of the fifth grade year. So I only... Hey, hey Judah. First day of homeschooling. Say hi. <laughs> he has no idea what to expect, so he's just kind of nervous, I think. But we're going to start with assessments today. Um, I set up a little section over here for him um, with pens and pencils and highlighters and markers and some scissors. And this one has um, like printer plain paper. I'll probably put some graphing paper and things like that in there eventually. And then this folder has placement tests that we're going to use and I will of course include the link of where I got these because I can't remember um, but we're going to start probably with math today it's really a cool way of trying to figure out where to place him um, like as far as if he's going to do fifth grade math or fourth grade math or what that is um, they also have they also have language, this one's language arts, and then there's a writing placement test, and there's a two-part reading placement test. So those are all things we'll be working on for the next couple of days, and then the online school that I chose to use is um, Discovery K-12, and so that is... They're actually still on break until Monday, so we'll start Monday and be on the same schedule as them. So, here we go. <laughs> it's going to be trial and error, so we'll see how everything goes. So I only advanced him about a half of a year just to find out if he's comfortable with that. And if I find that that is too easy for him, then I will turn around and, you know, just bump it up a little bit until we find exactly the right rhythm for him, which I'm learning that homeschooling is a day-to-day -day process. Day-to-day. -to -day. You never ever um, know if you're going to switch it up, if something's not working for you, and that is one of the beauties of homeschooling is that you can just switch it up. So um, our first week, you know, we did assessments. We got out, went to Walmart. Um, on Friday, we did more assessments. And then we went to um, what is called Park Day. And I, one of my best friends, she has been homeschooling for over a year. I believe it's been around two years. And so she is part of a local homeschool group. And thank God for that. And thank God that she introduced me to that because that has really helped. They have all sorts of resources like field trips, different outings they go on together, and different play dates that they do. And so every Friday they try to do what's called park day. And if it's not very nice outside, they do it indoors, which is um, a nice time to let the kids run around, socialize, let the parents socialize, and it's been really great so far. So then we started Monday. Um, he still had a little bit of assessments to do, so Monday ended up being a long day. 
However, once we finished all that, we jumped right into the program. So yeah, we're learning about negatives because we start in fifth grade today. <laughs> I did all the assessments and he actually is has almost passed some of the fifth grade stuff. So we're going to start with fifth grade and see how it goes. So day one, let's see how it goes. We're at Wally World, a little trip to Walmart. Got out the house in this snowy mess. I decided to do a mixture of Easy Peasy, um, which I'll include all the links to the websites below. But Easy Peasy is a free online homeschool program. And then I'm also using Discovery K-12, which is also a free online homeschool. And so I'm doing a little bit um, of combination and as of now, every night, the night before I go and I plan out what we're gonna do the next day, I would love to get to the point where we're doing a week at a time, but right now I'm still piecing it together day by day and switching things around and just trying to get the groove of how he learns and, and what's most comfortable. So yeah, we made it through Monday through Thursday, um, and then Friday there was no school for my 11-year-old and my 3-year-old, so um, I'm following the exact same schedule as the public school, so whenever there's no school, there's no homeschool. So yeah, that was our first week. I am really enjoying both of those websites, and I like the combination of the two. I am currently doing the math any kind of computer that they have, um, which is not every day, but I'm doing the math, the computer, the Bible, and the science and history in Easy Peasy, and then I am doing the reading, writing, and spelling in Discovery K-12, and I like that because the reading and writing and spelling on, or it was just reading and writing in Easy Peasy, but on Easy Peasy it was a lot of poetry and a lot of, um, a lot of wording that was very confusing um, you know I have a very literal learner and so that was not very good for his learning style so I prefer using Discovery K-12 they let him read his own book and then he does different projects like he had to write an essay or he had to create a PowerPoint presentation on what he was reading and those types of things so I'm really enjoying doing it that way um, if I have any other homeschoolers out there that have been doing it or just learning, I would love, love, love for you to share any of your resources that you can share with me, any things that you've learned that have made it easier, please share in the comments below. And um, just, you know, let me know if you do enjoy seeing this kind of stuff. I have been trying to Snapchat it more um, and to try to keep more of a daily vlog going on on my snapchat so i will also include my snapchat below if you're interested in that type of thing i am horrible at it just a forewarning so but um if you are go ahead and follow along and see what shenanigans we get into um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time